In this section, let us see how we can use parallel chaining in Langchain. And just to jog your memory, let's actually go back to the diagram. So what we're going to be doing is, so first off, we are going to kick off one task, okay? And that triggers two different chains or three or even hundred even, right? And all those chains run parallelly at the same time. And once all of those chains resolve and come to an end, we can then do something with the result of all of those chains, right? So I'm going to be using a very simple example right here. Let's say I want to write a blog post about a movie that I'm critiquing or analyzing. Okay, a blog post. So let's say the movie is Inception. And I want the first section of the blog post to have my analysis of the plot. Okay, and I want the second section of the blog post to have the analysis of the characters involved. So the first section is going to be all about the plot and the second section is going to be all about the characters. Okay. So what can we do first? We can first get the summary of the movie from the LLM. And once we have it, we can actually start off two separate chains. Okay. So the first chain is going to analyze the plot and the second chain is going to analyze the characters. Again, it's a very simple example, but you can imagine that we can apply it to pretty much anything. Basically, we trigger one task and uh, that is going to set off several chains parallelly. And then once all of it comes to an end, we do something with the results of all of those, right? And that's exactly what we're doing here as well. So let's actually go down to the chain itself. You can see I've already prepared the code and let's actually go through it one by one. So as we discussed, we are first getting the summary of the movie from the LLM. And to get it from the LLM, we need to prompt it first. Okay, so just always remember that in, right before calling uh, the LLM, always prompt it because it makes life so much easier for us. So we have a summary template. If I go ahead and click on it uh, with command, the system message says you are a movie critic, right? Provide me a brief summary of the movie. So we are passing the movie name down here when we're invoking this chain. Okay. Now this is when it starts to get interesting. So once we get the content alone, we are now going to start something called a runnable parallel. Okay. So basically this is a class that Langchain provides that will help us run multiple chains simultaneously. So we are basically, you can see that we are importing this from up here. So let's come down and you can see that we specify a branches directory and we can actually provide a name for each of the branches or the chains that we want to start. Okay. So in this case, we have the plot chain, which is going to analyze the plot. And then we also have the characters chain, which is also going to analyze the characters. Right. Okay. You, you picture this, right? We have the first chain and the second chain, and we're basically naming it right here. So let's look at the first chain. I'm going to click on it and you can see that this is a chain itself, right? So the summary of the movie from the previous task, you remember the first task was to gather all of the summary from the LLM, right? So that summary of the movie from the previous task is passed into this first runnable Lambda task. Okay. So here we're constructing another prompt. So here we are just creating a prompt that tells the model to analyze the plot. If I scroll up here, you can see that it says you are a movie critic and we provide in the plot here as well. Okay. So we are passing it over to the model now. And finally, we are going to get the output right here. Okay. So this is the exact same thing that we're doing for the character analysis as well. Right. So we're going to create a prompt passing in the plot summary, same as before making the LLM call and keeping the character analysis result ready. Okay. So once both of these chains sort of, okay, we have both these chains, right? So once both of these chains are done with their execution, you can imagine that both of those chains are running parallelly, right? One can end earlier, one can end a lot before, but basically once everything, all the parallel chains are done with their execution, we get to the next stage in the chain where we have a method to combine all of the results, right? So you can see the result of the runnable parallel is an object and the object is going to have a property called branches and each of the branch names with their corresponding result will be present inside of that as well. So if we actually take a look inside of this method, that is all that we're doing right here, right? All that we're doing is combining it all together. That's it. So let's run this file and then see the result. And it's going to take a while because it's first generating the summary and then another API call goes and then it starts two different chains, right? Uh, one chain is for the character analysis and the second chain is for plot analysis, right? All right. So we have the result right here. We first see the plot analysis. And if we scroll down here, 
we can see that we have the character analysis as well right so this is just a very simple example you can use this for a variety of use cases based on uh, the business requirements right so i'll also give you another example so that you know you can see where we can apply uh, this concept of parallel chaining right let's say you want to write a social media post on multiple channels okay on the same topic let's say right so we have twitter we have linkedin instagram facebook right all of these channels have different formats right we have to write our content in a different way right we can also generate a full length youtube script as well right so what could be the first task that we have to do the first task is to basically collect all of the information on the topic right so let's say that's what we first do and once we have that we can then set off a chain for each and every single social media channel right so because each and every single channel have their own style of content right so we can also have each chain talk to the apis of each of those channels and also post them for you right so we first off we collect the the all the necessary information we set off multiple chains parallelly to execute they all do their own separate things where they are uh, formatting the content uh, based on you know the channel that they are uh, focusing on and then they also communicate in the next runnable they also communicate with the corresponding channels apis and post them if you don't want langchain to directly post uh, that particular post we can actually talk to the uh, the draft apis right that's basically just going to create a draft in that particular platform and then we can just review it right so basically the sky is the limit right and that is it for parallel chaining i hope that you understood how we can actually use parallel chaining to apply for real world use cases so in the next section we are going to be looking at the last type of ch chaining which is called conditional chaining so i'll see you there